What's up, YouTube? I just trade with two EV charging companies that I'm checking out to add to the long term. And the reason is, well, what comes to mind is gas stations. Electricity is the new fuel. Soon enough, they will be everywhere. And both companies have charging stations within less than one mile from my house and have a wide range of charging products and are growing incredibly fast. Don't forget to drop a comment down below. Let me know which ones you like or you hold or have traded. And let's take a moment to make sure you're subscribed, thumbs up is lit, and that bell is rang so you don't miss out on my next live stream or next video. And remember, this is not a recommendation to buy or sell anything, nor am I or will I ever be. And now the first company is Blink Charger Charging, ticker symbol BLNK. I traded the hell out of this company last year and really do like this company. But I think it's still too expensive uh, to jump back in. Now, Blink Charging provides charging solutions for electric vehicles. It manufactures, owns, and operates charging stations across the U.S. It's an idea worth billions because electric vehicles come with a unique problem. Since they run entirely on electric fuel, the lack of fuel stations limits your car's range. If your car, when fully charged, can only make it a few hundred miles, any cross-country trip must be planned around the location of charging stations. The growing need for these stations is here, and they just deployed the first of 202 stations in Texas San Antonio area. I think Blink stock value has a generally remained stable. However, the recent dip of 16.1% uh, and blink charging stocks levels in July may have caused concerns for the potential buyer. Let's uh, look at the charts for blink real quick and remember I am not in no way a chart master. But um, if you look, we've actually been we're at a pretty solid level of support. I highly doubt we'll drop down to the 2660, but be prepared for it because the possibility of it happening. I mean, it's there. Obviously, it's a, it's a, it's a level of support. Anybody can see this. That 1660, 16 area, that 2664 area, right down there. That's a level of of support right there. So I mean, we have a few levels of support. So I mean, if we do kind of bounce more towards this range right here, where we do come back down and test the RSI, um, if you're not in Blink or if you want to jump in it, I think Blink probably solid right there but like i said i still think it's kind of too expensive and especially with the market cap only being at 1.23 billion and then i mean we won't really see a lot of volume on this one me i like to play the tr i like to play the action like we got to have volume in order to run with it you know what i mean yeah you don't do this to me right now but blink is still a very solid company like i said actually blink has a charging stations actually closer to my house than um than a uh, than the next company I'm gonna be looking at. But um, right now it's solid area to get into, but keep an eye on, like I said, this this 2656 area, just keep an eye down here on this area. But um, especially looking at the RSI, I mean, the RSI looks like it wants to come back to oversold, which I'd rather go to oversold, so that way we can run up and go to overbought. But we need more volume to come in on Blink and we need news we need that infrastructure bill to get passed on this one uh but that's all i really got on blink like i said i'm not really i traded the hell out of them the one i'm really interested in is actually um charge point ticker symbol uh chpt there's a few things i really like about this company first is the volume this one sees a lot of volume on it uh what did it see 10.71 million the other day and then averagely three months is 7.91 million and then plus the market cap at 6.42 billion and the price as of today is 1991 and oh yeah the options look very very cheap in my eyes i would be looking at these come open and if you caught my last video about ford the fleets well they offer and are um getting a lot of deals for charging stations for fleets and the cpf 50 is ideally suited for fleet depot charging and personal charging for multi-family residents that means like uh, condos gated communities um stuff like that where there's multiple families living in there with speed durability and flexible configuration options they offer the express plus is a future proof uh, scalable dc fast charging platform that grows with demand and they got much much more um let's jump in and look at the charts real quick for charge point because like i've been saying there are a lot of people you should already know what these companies do i'm not going to sit there and break it all down but um, yeah, ChargePoint is actually looking real solid. We've been using this this 19 this this $20 range right here, 
has been a solid level of support where we're at right now. This is a solid level of support, and I think um, I think charge points about to break out. I mean, we have volume is just getting it's getting really it's getting a lot of volume in here, and I like the where the MACD is already. The MACD is already. The MACD's already lost its steam on the sell side. We're getting ready to rip it right now. I mean, we might see a little bit of a dip back down to the RSI, maybe the 30 range. I mean, I would like it to come down to the 27 range again, 23. But, you know, uh, beggars can't be choosers. So if as long as it comes down a little bit, we'll see what it does. But uh, charge point is actually the one that I'm actually going to be establishing a long-term position in. Um, I like charge point a lot, a lot because, I mean... They offer some pretty phenomenal stuff, and I mean, with the fleet thing, I think the fleet thing's gonna slap. I mean, uh, blink charges, they blink charging, they offer some kind of partnership deal, but it's not like the charge point one. But um, that's all I got for everybody. Uh, hope to catch you on the next video, and I'm out.